Hey beautiful people, it's your girl Shay. I noticed that there's not a lot of dorm tours for Northeastern, so I decided to kick off my channel with the dorm tour. So welcome to my crib. So I guess I'll start off with a walk-in closet. We have a lot of storage. A lot of dorms don't have this, so we're really lucky. So over here is where we keep all our products and toiletries. The drawers down below and things don't really open that well. You may have to use your nail to get it open or it's really dingy, so we don't really use these. As you can see, we have four shelves of storage, and then we have more shelves above. We keep our suitcases above and under my bed. And over here is not a door to another room. It's another room on the other side, but they like jammed it shut. There's no handle or anything, like we can't go through it. We mainly keep our shoes surrounding the floor of the closet um, and then we divided the closet into four sections my section is in the back there and the other section is for jackets and things and then we have like random clothes at the top Ooh, I wanted to show you my shower caddy um, I use these hanging clips to hang things in the bathroom as well as with my um, towel because there's no racks or anything in the bathroom so I recommend you get you some of those. They were like $2.99 at Ikea. On to the rest of the room. Um, we got these feather rope things from some type of event on campus. Maybe it was like lobster night or something. But over here we have our pantry. We keep all our snacks, as you can see. There used to be shelves. Like, other triples have shelves. We just don't. We just always missing shelves, I guess. So, over here, we keep our bottles and kitchenware, basically. I recommend you get a bottle because there's no water fountain in Melvin. And in this drawer we have basically Ziploc bags and bowls and things. I recommend you get a bowl because cup of noodles is a daily. And over here is so just some more utensils. That's the key to success because there's always like a party or something or something where you need a fork. And here's our micro fridge. We all split the cost of this like $70 each. This is the only way you can get a microwave on in your dorm. So I recommend you also look into that. And all the rooms come with this little board thing. Um, we just started using it. Anyways, on to my side. So I guess I'll start with the outlets. There's five outlets that are, they're not loose, so that's a great thing. There's one here, one behind her desk, one behind my desk, one under my bed, one behind her desk. So to keep the room warm throughout the winter, they use this radiator that gets super hot. Everyone who has a lofted bed is always complaining about how hot it is. So I'd recommend you bring shorts and keep them throughout the year. So on to my desk. Um, if there's anything I would recommend you get is a double sided mirror. Um, this has been really great to me this year. We've gone through some great things. I'd also recommend that you get one of these lamps. 
with the outlet and USB because it comes in hand so often. It's key to success. And I'd also recommend that you get a fan. As I said earlier, it gets so hot and the window doesn't always suffice. So the one thing I really love about this side of the room is the window ledge. Like I can put so many things on there, especially like my phone to charge while I'm sleeping. So that's great. And I guess I'll start with this flat drawer part of my desk. I just put a bunch of random things in here, like papers that I get, food, snacks, and all that type of stuff. So in this first drawer, I basically have beauty products and like some more random things. I got all my little trays from the dollar store. Um, they have great things come spring and a lot of it went with my blue theme. And in this drawer, I have my school supplies. There's a lot left. I didn't really use much, but like pencils, flashcards, and my um, notebook. So don't really buy too much school supplies. And this is a random drawer. Just have like bags and things in there. And over here we have these little hutch things. It can either go on your desk or you can get these screws to plug it in your bed. I put it on my roommate's bed because I de-lofted my bed. I was not about to be that high, be sweating. Um, I was complaining about the heat, so I de-lofted my bed. Yeah, it's just, it's easy to take out. You can do it yourself. And under my bed, I just keep my suitcase and things. Let me know down below if you want me to do a packing video and how I flew here with like just six suitcases and got all my stuff to fit. And hey, okay, in this first drawer, it's just like underwear and things. Make sure to get some organizers because these drawers are wide. In the second drawer, I just have like t-shirts and in the third drawer. I just have like pants and above the drawer I just keep random stuff like my hats and my scarves and things that don't need to be on my desk. One of the great things about Melvin is the view. Look at that. Great. It's great lighting as well. Alrighty. So I guess I'll take you guys to the bathroom now since nobody ever really talks about that like one of the most important things so each floor has five bathrooms four full baths and one half bath like that one that I just passed in case anyone is just taking too long in the shower and they're usually labeled by sex um, you see right there the fifth floor is like gender neutral so there's something else up there and this bathroom specifically has a uh, toilet seat cover. I haven't really seen that. It's kind of weird. But yeah, there's radiators in the bathroom. Um, I don't really know if they work because I sometimes feel cold in the winter. But uh, yeah, there is two shower heads as you may have heard. But they usually don't simultaneously work. So thanks for watching. Feel free to ask me any questions below. Like, comment, subscribe.